So what happens? Pretty sure I tried it already, but uh, we pop this into the chat. Well, application to display the AG, recognizing the whole spectrum, blah, 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 but the wolf alpha. Here's some sample. So we have the app. Now the question. Uh, so yes, up by matplotlib, we already have it. Okay, it's doing uh, more than we have. It's more comprehensive. Interestingly, we have fs. Yeah, that can be 250. Insert at cursor. Can insert at cursor. That's nice and simple. Okay, this can be 250. And just create files, yes. Signal is not defined. We can just do copilot, fix this, and just fix this. It's really weird. It's not doing it right because it's importing signal from SciPy. So it seemed to be getting the context from uh, the folder structure, uh, which is good. Function is generate URL, a generate a JavaScript. It looks like the provide code is incomplete. Which code is incomplete? That was a template from somewhere else. Now this has a lot of issues. Why? not defined power function is empty list process that uh, power the whole spectrum same thing for signal it's probably an easier a way of doing it you need to add a full in line is it this one that i already have spectrogram i also need the uh, signal did it actually work Looks like, not sure why it's in a different color. Would this run? Bash terminal. Uh, not sure about this one, especially forcing. <laughs> forcing reinstall. Why? Why do I need to force reinstall? It's already installed. Because if all the rest is working, uh, how do I do this? Importing signal. I don't. Do I have to upgrade? I don't think there's an issue with sci-fi installation. We are importing sci-fi. So do I import it from sci-fi signal or just sci-fi? And this is odd. Or do I also need me to do that? Can now seem to respond better. Do I have a camera string? What? Why am I? What? A column. A door could not to float. Don't have camera, do I? Camera. Line 20. Right, we need to load the data. It's not, got nothing to do with camera. Okay, loading the data. We already have that code in another, another application. Uh, let's see. Uh, loading the data. Okay, we obviously have it in, um, in this application. It's not great, it's super slow, it's still loading. And there's also sorts of issues with display, but it's loading that it's uh, able to load the data okay. So this will be... Uh, 
the question is if uh, the copilot chat has access to all other files it should so if i copy path and just tell it to um, Uh, can we load the data in the same way as in uh, yes you can load that uh, is it the text But that's not how we load the data in that file. So I'm not sure if if it has uh, all the content from. Uh... Sorry, did I make a mistake in the folder? No, I didn't. It's the right folder. Do you have access to? No, I don't have access to a local file system. I can only provide suggestions based on the code you provide. So what's the point of... <laughs> I thought the whole point of using it is that it already has access to all your files. Uh, that's a bit odd. So how do I provide it? Because they'll call the same. They'll call app, uh, dot by. Right, so this is the other file, and it would have a um, loaded that. Uh, it is a text file, but it has to be specifically this one. The other question is uh, do I need to copy it again? Uh, into this folder or not and um, da -da 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 -da. I don't want to how do I access this folder so this file will be in data yeah this one a uh, relative path it's done over here this is the relative path uh, data file path should be in single quotes, is it? And uh, load text. Would this just work? I don't think so. A uh, data file path. This is a very large file. We load a small portion of it. Or are we already doing this? A uh, window size. Window size is 10 seconds. Yeah, multiply by sampling frequency, that's correct. And then taking, uh, I just want to take one channel. There are 16 channels, but there's a select one channel. Eventually the selected channel will be coming from uh, the web application. Uh, but currently, yes, yeah, zero should be fine. Let's make it one. A channel process data. Shouldn't this have data as the input? Where's that function being called? I'll stuff it up, wouldn't I? A process data. Is it control I? This copilot it was already doing this. So it's taking the channel, uh, selected channel and window size as well. A data path window size. I don't think I need to do this. Okay, it's doing something. My CPU is uh, is running. I can hear the fans, all the fans, all the ten fans. Why is it loading for so long? Now it's loading the page again for quite some time. Okay, do we already need the WSGI file in here? Where should I be getting my error from? Uh, let's see, so first it's loading for too long, then 
I get an error. Okay, slow down. <laughs> yeah, GPT-4 was much slower, so you could actually watch it uh, uh, generating text. But this one uh, is much quicker, so I have to slow it down. So there are a few issues. The first is your warning message GUI outside the main thread. Subplots function calls in the process. There are functions to, to fix this. You can add the following lines to debugging to beginning of up by import matplotlib. We're already importing it. Importing it. To understand what's the difference between when you import something like something from matplotlib or import the whole matplotlib and then use that, whatever. The line should be added before. So this should be going after the second issue type error that occurs when rendering index HTML M plus M, uh, template. This error caused by the channel variable not being defined in the app by to fix this issue. The following line in the beginning of the app to define the channels variable. So we can comment this out, put this one in and we don't have the data yet because the data is all the way down there pretty sure we don't need that code we need this up top maybe even outside the flask application okay so where is the, the ah, yeah, data shape is there still loading forever well because the probably the window of the data is too large we actually don't want to load the whole file why are we loading the whole file uh, let's see how we do it over there yeah we're loading only a certain portion of it yeah with uh, white space um true skip rows that's also handy and this is because the file actually has a seizure uh, in it so we uh, by doing this we're actually skipping to the seizure the difference is that we want only one um, channel so we're selecting one channel because we're plotting spectrogram of this channel. So if we plot all the channels in the spectrogram, if it's slow already, um, yeah, we have to select just one, uh, just work with one channel. So it's essentially should be the same as this. We didn't want to copy the data file again. Uh, we got the file correctly. Should we just read the one channel to begin with? Guess we need this line for sure. Instead of just uh, loading the whole file. <laughs> What's PD? PD is uh, uh, pandas, isn't it? Yeah. So I uh, do the same thing because it just worked before. So we have pandas as PD. It's a very large file, so we don't want to read the all file what this should be okay number of points to load duration to load so we yeah i think in this file we're loading a hundred seconds so then we can scroll uh, through it right and i also remember that our sampling frequency is not 250 it's definitely 400 so that's just what the data set is uh, skip rows is not defined do we actually need those right we use it over here and we will have um, a y and x access to it but instead of like here we, where we're loading all the 16 channels we just want to load one uh, but those numbers should be legit and we want to create a time array so this will be data we'll have a time array df just df right this should be a data as well do we have something with time 
a control I is this how do we use this uh, the code is part of flask web application that processes and displays IEG intracranial electrophysi elect electroencephalography EEG whatever data and the code reads data from a file loads the based on start time duration then the process because provided adds new column to load the data column contains the time values this is done by defining okay that uh, close that so we're not using this for now uh, let's try this again right this is loading a bit quicker uh, it was still getting an error is uh, some variables missing or something pandas something with pandas i think i know what the problem is but uh, their message that variable is pandas not numpy array cannot cannot use numpy array indexing uh, to access column data you cannot you can use the following um what this called uh, column data frame it's got so what's the problem i'm not actually using this at the moment I can just comment it out still loading for some time not as bad is it the same error but the fact that i'm getting 500 for the http tells me there's a missing a bit um, in here their message uh, csv csv file something with the file path that's what i'm doing already am i um, that a file path there's obviously a problem with uh, that data file we need a relative any more suggestions no and uh, should be something uh, like that um, relative path to okay it's easier to copy the file and fortunately unfortunately whatever yes this was called yeah i need an up a root index uh, do i have it and uh, no why am i rendering plot it should be an index html it's actually a different error. The problem is that data is loading okay. I thought I made it one. This seemed wrong anyway. Uh, compile and explain this. Select code plot signals from a pandas uh, matplotlib. Variable pandas. Function call creates line plot. First argument of a function call specifies x-axis um that's not the x-axis okay we do the data time needs to be rewritten yeah it needs to be just saw it a second ago data time data channel yeah that looks more like it 152 select code return bna it's not related to the blah blah the code part of function that so which line am i modifying did it regenerate no i get that but i meant with the error trying to access the first column of the data but i'm not well not anymore so why is it not uh, getting updated Select code channel variable that is used to specify the channel to plot. So, plot signal the channel variable is an integer, blah, 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 content signal, the plot signal function to extract the signal data from a specified channel. What is it talking about? There is no, it's like getting it to clear the chat or something. Not using get lock. Don't get it. Next thing that I should check uh, the code that is calling get lock method and make sure that the key being passed is valid. Yeah, we have panda SPD. I'm asking for like a more specific. <laughs> Don't care to fix this. Windows has no access. Yeah, we're not having a great time. Code is unreachable. Because the return is there. Code, of course, code is unreachable. Um, 
Copilot explain this. 